CLU's Africa Wire Cable and Tube, hosted this week here in South Africa's biggest city, Johannesburg, is the first opportunity for participants from, from the Africa Wire Cable Tube and Pipe community to meet with new partners from across the world. This important inaugural event is an opportunity for the local industry and stakeholders to meet with the inter international supply chain and discuss the main trends impacting the global market and how they can be applied to the opportunities and challenges being faced across the continent. The conference was also a great opportunity for CIU events to engage with clients in this region and to work with leading partners in order to create this crucial new platform. The event has been a great success with over 135 senior uh, delegates registered to attend, representing a wide range of leading companies throughout the entire supply chain. This is alongside more than 20 exhibitors. We look forward to a packed two-day schedule of presentations and panel discussions, combined with ample networking opportunities. The pullback in China, the slowdown that we're experiencing, is weighing heavily on growth in the global demand. Now, we're seeing China in 2019 achieving around about 1.6% year-on-year growth in total um, aggregate uh, insulated wire and cable demand. Whilst, yes, it's not contracting, um, earlier expectations for growth um, were initially a lot higher than that. So we have had to downgrade that considerably this year, impacting the, the global picture. We've also witnessed a pronounced pullback in Western Europe, in part due to the current weakness in the automotive industry. However, when we take a quick glance at next year, things do seem to brighten up just a little bit at least. Meanwhile, in Africa, we expect relatively healthy levels of demand this year, supported by various infrastructure and renewable energy projects. Looking ahead, whilst the African market as a whole may not be the largest, we retain the view that the continent and certain markets within it have huge growth potential over the midterm outlook. It is, of course, an incredibly diverse market, one that cannot be summarized easily. That is why CLU's wire and cable team undertake detailed country profiles to help better understand the numerous diverse markets that make up the African wire and cable industry. One other vital area CLU need to understand when analyzing and forecasting the wire, cable, and tube markets is, of course, that of its raw materials. Here I show 2019 annual average price forecast for LME copper and aluminium. Now, as you can see from the chart, this, has, this year at least has been uh, quite a tough one. A combination of events have led to a deterioration in supply demand fundamentals for both those metals. And as such, we have seen a significant pullback in LME prices this year. This has subsequently impacted total global wire and cable market value, which again has shrunk pretty noticeably this year.